In this video, we're gonna talk about stance so you understand exactly how you should position your feet when you're hitting drives versus irons versus wedges. So taking the correct stance is gonna be crucial to getting set up at the proper address position before we hit that golf ball. All right, so to get started talking about stance, let's talk about our feet. So the feet are gonna be the first aspect when we're starting to get our body settled in our stance. And then we go from there working on our upper body, like our posture, how much we're bending over. So starting with our feet, this is our stance here. So first we want to figure out what our stance width is going to be. So when we're hitting longer clubs that we're swinging with more power, such as our driver, which requires higher swing speeds, this can get us off balance if we don't have a stable stance. So to get a more stable stance to control that club with such power and such high swing speed, we need to get a wider base with our legs here. This is going to help us lock into the ground and control ourselves better rather than being more close-footed. When you have your feet closer together, you're a little more tipsy. If somebody was to try to push you, they might be able to tip you over a lot easier than if we take a more wide stance. And now if somebody tries to push me, I'm not gonna budge much either direction. So wider stance is gonna give you more stability in your swing so you can withstand the stronger forces as you're swinging with faster swing speeds with your driver, your woods, your hybrids. So depending on what club you're hitting will dictate how wide of stance you need. So when we're doing driver setups, I typically like to have my feet pretty wide to where it feels comfortable for me, but not too wide either. So in this case, I like to consider my feet just outside of shoulder width. So if I grabbed an alignment stick here, and we were to take our wide stance, if I was to put this alignment stick here at where my shoulder is, and I drop it straight down to the ground, you're gonna see it comes down about right here. So my foot sits just outside of that line if I was to have a line coming straight down from my shoulder. Same with on this side, if we had a line come straight down our shoulder, this foot is sitting outside of that line. So my feet with a driver are gonna be spread more apart to where they're a little wider than shoulder width. Now for irons, I'll bring them in to about shoulder width. So now we can take this line from my shoulder and drop it straight down and it's gonna be right where my foot is. Same on this side, we come down and it's gonna be right here where my foot is. So shoulder width for irons, slightly wider than shoulder width for driver is the recommended starting point. Now you can adjust your stance width as you see fit for what's comfortable for you and your swing, but that's just a good guideline if you're brand new to the sport and you're trying to learn the basic fundamentals of stance width. All right, the next thing we wanna talk about is ball position in our stance. So let's again set up like we're gonna hit an iron shot here. So if we've got a slightly shoulder width stance here, we want this ball position for iron shots to be just forward of center of our stance. So if we had a line drawn from our foot to our other foot and imagined a line here, we would want a line that divides our stance width to be going down the center here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this alignment rod down on the ground here. So this is about center center of my stance and we can see this ball position sits just forward of that center line. So as I would set my club down, my club is basically sitting on that center line that divides the middle of my stance here. So golf ball just slightly forward of center when we hit these irons. Now for driver, we want to move it more forward in our stance so that it comes off this left heel here. So if you see the alignment rod now touching my back heel of my lead leg, so my left foot, this is about where we want that golf ball sitting for our driver. So we'd move that golf ball more forward in our stance. So what I like to do to get my stance settled in is I'll typically tee my golf ball up first. So if we have a tee here, we tee our ball up and I'll go ahead and build my stance off of that ball. So once I've got the ball teed up in the ground, I'll go ahead and get my left leg here to where the heel, and if we drew a line from the ball down to my heel, it'd be touching. Then I go ahead and step back with my back leg and take that wide base stance to get comfortable to where I feel like I've got good stability and control with my lower body. Then we're gonna go ahead and just grab our driver for illustrative purposes. So the key with driver is you've got a much longer club shaft. So the iron is much shorter than our driver. So this makes it a lot more likely if we took a normal swing with the ball in the middle of our stance, that when we're coming down with the club, we're probably gonna smack into the ground and hit a chunked drive. And we don't wanna do that. Instead, with driver, you wanna be coming on an upward swing to where you can sweep that golf ball off the tee. We don't wanna be coming with a downward angle of attack 
chunking into the ground like we do with our irons. Instead, we want this driver to never touch the ground. We just want it to come sweep up into the air and launch that golf ball as high as possible. And to do this, we have to move that golf ball more forward in our stance so that we can catch that golf ball on somewhat of an upswing with the driver head as we're coming through the hitting zone. So that's one of the key differences why with longer clubs, we have to move the golf ball more forward in our stance because since they're longer, it's more likely that they're gonna dig into the ground. And so by getting the ball more forward, it allows us more time to get that club extended out so that we don't hit the ground and we can sweep the ball off the tee. All right, one other thing to note with our stance is gonna be our shoulder plane, our hips, our knees, our feet. So if you think earlier when we've got a line here on the ground, this matches up our stance line of where we're aiming to our target. So we also want to think about that if we had a line here for our knees, one for our hips and one for our shoulders. So when it comes to our shoulders, when we're taking our driver setup, we don't want this shoulder line to be perfectly level. Right now, if I hold this club perfectly level compared to the ground, you can see what that looks like. But with driver, we want to slightly tilt this back shoulder down and our front shoulder is going to raise up a little bit. So we've got slight angle in our shoulders. So now this line here is not level anymore. So that's how we're going to set up with our drive. We're going to take our stance. We're going to slightly tilt these shoulders so that our back shoulder is leaning down towards the ground lower than our front shoulder. And so this helps get our body kind of tilted, some spine tilt, gets our head behind the ball, gets our body behind the ball. And this again is going to help us when we take that club back. And then on the through swing, this having this tilted kind of shoulder angle helps us really get those hands and get that club kind of on an upward upsending angle of attack so we can sweep that golf ball off the tee. All right, so that was three different things to think about when setting up with your driver. Think about your stance width, your ball position, and your shoulder tilt for the driver. So with irons, again, our stance width is gonna be about shoulder width. Ball position now is more centered in our stance, slightly forward of center. And then our shoulders are gonna be back to being pretty level at address. We're not gonna have that severe shoulder tilt like we did with our driver. And this is gonna help allow us to be able to hit down on the ball with a more descending angle of attack to be able to hit the golf ball first, then make a divot and get that crisp contact so that we're not chunking shots behind the golf ball. When we start hitting down behind the golf ball, that leads to those chunk shots and that's not a good thing. So to get our club back to the golf ball to where we can hit golf ball first and then take our divot, we wanna make sure we have more level shoulders because if we're playing with tilted shoulders with our iron, now we're more likely to hit behind the golf ball and chunk behind it. So again, our stance, our setup is slightly different when we're hitting shorter irons and shorter clubs. Ball more middle of our stance, stance width, shoulder width apart, and think shoulders level. So keep these three things in mind for your iron setup and then for the driver setup keep the other three tips that we talked about for that setup and that's how you're going to set up with the proper stance. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed today's video do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Share this channel with a friend who plays golf. Let's get more people into the game learning how to play golf and it'll be more fun for you and your friends if you guys can go out and play better rounds of golf after implementing these different tips in these videos. So I appreciate you being here giving me some time to watch today's tips and lessons you can find more about our training programs our drills our different practice plans that we have available for golfers to utilize at foygolfacademy.com which will be linked below in this youtube video